we're going to look at circuit symbols. Now this video is all about memorizing. You have to be able to look at a symbol and tell me the name of it and you have to be able to look at the name and be able to draw me a symbol. If you'd be able to do all of these very quickly, so take some time to learn these off by heart, then the later stuff, which is more difficult, will seem so much easier to you. This is a cell. Most people think they have two batteries in their remote control at home, but actually they have two cells. Now cells are used to give energy to the electrons in the circuit. So when the electrons pass through the, uh, the cell, they gain energy and that allows them to flow around the circuit. Now there are two parts. The left hand side is short and fat. This is the negative side of the cell. And the other side is long and thin and that's the positive side of the cell. This is a battery. And a battery also gives energy to the electrons in a circuit. Now because you've got two next to each other, the voltage is actually doubled. Batteries can be quite tricky. They need to be placed this way round. So the top picture here shows it goes negative, positive, negative, positive. It must go that way round. Another way to write it is to use a little dotted line in between, just like the middle picture here. What you mustn't do is draw a line all the way in between, like the bottom picture, because that short circuits it and you won't get any current flowing at all. I recommend using the top one so you have no gaps or no line, sorry, no, no lines between the two cells. This is a wire. Wires carry current around the circuit and they must be straight and you must use a pencil and a ruler. This is a switch. A switch allows part of the circuit to be disconnected. Um, everyone knows what a switch is for. Lamp or bulb. This gives off light when electricity passes through it. You may be able to work out from the other videos that as energy goes through the light bulb, the energy is taken from the electron and given to the light bulb and the energy is transferred into light. Here's a resistor. Resistors restrict the flow of current. A variable resistor, very similar to a resistor, but you can change the resistance Therefore, you can change the current flowing through a circuit. It's the rectangle with an arrow through it. This is an ammeter. An ammeter measures the current in a circuit. It must be placed in series. We'll look at how to connect ammeters in the next video. A voltmeter is used to measure potential difference across a component. In the next video, we'll also look at how to connect a voltmeter in parallel. This is a thermistor. Thermistors are very interesting and they're used a lot in this exam. As the temperature increases, the resistance will decrease. LDRs are also important. They stand for light dependent resistor and they're very similar to thermistors in a way, but as the light intensity increases, then the resistance will decrease. This is also a really, really important symbol to learn for this exam. Motors transfer kinetic, en uh, sorry, electrical energy into kinetic. So they turn your electrical energy in your wires into something useful that moves. Here's a simple circuit. You've got a cell at the top, wires, and a bulb at the bottom. A couple of rules you need to know. The wires must be straight. The wires mu it must make a complete circuit with no breaks and it must not, not join the positive and negative at the top of the cell. Last thing, we're going to learn two types of circuit. Now we're going to discuss these in detail in the next videos, but for now it would be very, very useful if you could just memorize these two circuits. The first one is in series. As you can see, these three bulbs are next to each other. So this is called series. The other type is when they're placed above each other and this one is called parallel. So there are two types of circuit, series and parallel. The one thing you might be able to notice is if this series circuit on the left, if one of those bulbs blue, 
it would break the circuit and all of the bulbs would go out because the electrons are no longer able to flow around the circuit. On the right hand side however, if one of those bulbs blew, the other two would still light because electrons can still travel round that circuit.